Good morning, friends. It is so cold out this morning. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's like 30 degrees. I know my northern friends are probably laughing at me. It's time for me to get out the winter gear. I don't like having to wear winter gear. I feel like I can't move and I can't. Like the hidden Christmas story, right? Okay, anyways. Oh, you guys need water. Um, Typically I keep a long hairstyle because life with littles is crazy and it's much easier to manage than if I had a short haircut and I needed to get it cut every month or two or something. With long hair, I can cut it every 12 to 18 months and the last time I cut my hair, I just did it myself with a YouTube tutorial in the bathroom mirror and it was fine. But I've always really wanted to try out really short hair. I always psych myself out, but today I'm going to go for it. So don't be shocked if the next time you see me, my hair is all gone. There you go. I gotta get that other paint out of there. Okay, I've got too much stuff in here. I'm thinking I'm going to eliminate two of my roosters. I have three right now. And they're all separated, they're not together. Um, but the one, the one rooster I actually like rescued from the cats they had gotten it from somewhere and um, it turned into a rooster and so like the whole concept of like eliminating it feels hard because I rescued it but I don't want to use that rooster for breeding and I don't need another rooster around and the silky rooster like they're not really doing anything, and I don't really necessarily want to breed silkies either. I'm looking more for a dual purpose, larger bird. And with the chicks that are coming in January, I got a rooster Easter egger. So that would be four roosters, and there's really no need for me to have four roosters. So I've been thinking about getting rid of the two roosters that I'm not planning on using for breeding purposes. And girls ready for some treats? Good morning, sir. So this looks like a giant mess, but what I am doing here is throwing all of my compost into the bottom of the run of the chicken coop and they free range so it's not like they're stuck in here um, and then they poop in here and they mix it all together and they get lovely bugs so they get to eat what they want to eat and then whatever is left over is composting down in this spot um, over the winter so that I have fresh compost in the spring that I can then mix with the bedding from the chicken coop very easily because I just rake it all out into here and it works out really well. It worked out great last year for the compost um, for the garden and stuff. And then I didn't have to wheelbarrow loads of chicken manure to different places to get it where I wanted it to be. And all of those plates are compostable. So they will just compost down through the winter as it rains and different things. Um, and then it'll be great in the spring. This is my other rooster, the Phoenix one. And the Phoenix birds are game birds, so they're not really even for eating. Like, so yeah, I don't feel like processing the roosters would be worth it because they are small. Both of them are very small, not meat birds. Versus this rooster, 
who is much, much, much bigger. You can see the difference. Maybe. Next time you guys see me, all this is gonna be gone. Hey guys, I'm heading out to do some chicken chores. It's a rainy, dreary, good to stay in your sweatpants movie kind of day. So, surprise, new do. Told you it was all gonna be gone. It's gone. I decided that as I'm starting to build the window greenhouse, that I'm also going to build a permanent roof on the chicken coop. Um, I thought that what I had made would work. Every time that I built something and then have some experience with it, I want to rebuild it and make it even better as I'm learning new strategies and new ways to do things. So I'm going to build up a permanent roof on the chicken coop so we're not having this issue with the wind and the tarp and pieces blowing away on us. So that's gonna be coming soon too. When you guys are looking at building stuff, if you're starting your farm or um, just on your own, what's your biggest holdback to jumping in and doing build projects, whether it's chicken coops or compost piles or raised beds, what is holding you back? Is it having to deal with power tools? Is it the mathematics around buying lumber and designing, um, like you wanna have an actual plan that tells you what cuts to make and how to put things together? Um, I'd love to know because I really like to make the information on this channel work for everyone at every stage, um, whether you are new and have no idea how to use a screwdriver or um, have more experience and have already experimented with trying to build some stuff on your own. the other day. I love memes. Memes are like my love language. If you see a good one, send it to me. <laughs> but there was this one and it said, the older I get, the more I realize why roosters just wake up and scream in the morning. <laughs> and I thought that was great. It's cute, she says. <gasps> the broccoli is flowering, so I'm letting these ones go to seed. It's just the back and forth temperatures like really confused the broccolis, so. Hi, the peas out here, I'm pretty much just letting them go 
go because I want to have a lot of seeds for the spring. Um, we eat so much and I'm not nearly growing enough to cover everything. So I need a lot more seeds. I way underestimated how many seeds I need. So there's not a whole ton going on in the garden right now. I've got onions that stay in the ground. Um, peas are going. I've got the cauliflowers and the broccolis. Um, I've got some potatoes that are still going. They're being protected by the back porch. So even when the temperatures get down to 30 at night, the potatoes are fine because they're not getting that frost on top of them. They're, they're doing well that way. And I've got some lettuces going. And I think that's all that's growing right now. There are some herbs that are still hanging on that'll overwinter, but not a whole ton going on in the garden right now. So a lot of the focus is on chicken stuff and greenhouse stuff and other, other projects. Um, I'm kind of really enjoying a little bit of the downtime too to focus indoors on reorganizing and getting stuff ready. And I'm really excited to start seeds after New Year's for the next year. I haven't even sat down and planned out what I'm gonna grow yet. Um, so that is on my to-do list. But thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. It's been a pleasure getting to hang out with you and I will see you next time.